Hey guys, I've just jumped in the car in a huge rush. Hopefully I haven't forgot anything. We're racing out about 40 minutes away. We got a red belly with its head stuck in a V can, I think. You hear about this happen, but I haven't I haven't seen it happen for a while. We're heading out there. The member of public is absolutely amazing. She's pushed it to the side of the road. She's ducked home to get a bucket and she's actually gonna try, sort of contain it, because I can't bite her, keep it safe until I get there. And so hopefully no harm will come. Hopefully no one will run over it in the meantime. We'll race out there now and fingers crossed. Let's go. his bloody head is in there. There you are, big fella. See his head in there. So now I can just cut straight across there. Should be able to get him out. Crew's been stuck. coming out the hole that I cut. It's hard to do without making it worse. Especially when he's so wiggly. If I get this piece off, I should be able to get him out. So this side of the can's like in him. Doesn't look like it's gonna be as bad as I thought though. So another exciting one. I just had a look at him through the tube. It does have quite a bit of cutting, so I will take him to the vet. Hopefully they'll give me some antibiotics and get him fixed up before we release him. But he's bagged up here, excuse the mess. You can see here, let's have a look at this. You can see how worn down the V-can actually is. He was still moving around. So he's scraping that against the concrete. God knows how long the poor bugger's been in there. He was super tight around there. That's just terrible. I can't believe in 2023, people still need to be told to pick up their rubbish. You shouldn't even have to pick it up because you shouldn't even throw it on the ground. Put your damn rubbish in the bin. If this isn't, isn't enough reason not to throw your rubbish on the ground, I don't know what is. Poor bugger. It is Friday and it's been about a week since we rescued our red belly in the can. He's doing really well. The injury isn't causing him any issues. We are coming to the back end of when we can release things. If it was middle of summer, I'd probably keep him for another week or two just to make sure. But 
I really don't think it's going to cause him any harm. I prefer to just get him back out in the wild while I can before it gets too cool. Today's absolutely beautiful. We'll go release him. We've got to take him back out to Warrington. I've got an Eastern Rosella. He flew into a window yesterday, hit the ground, and they get concussions, so he made it overnight. He came from just a street or two over there. We'll release him here so if he hits the deck, we can pick him back up. As the crow flies, it's bloody 20 meters that way. He'll know exactly where he is. And the flock, they always fly over. He's first release. Second release is our water dragon. Then we'll take our red belly out. And that's the third one for the day. So we'll have a crack at this Rosella first. The Eastern Rosellas are extremely flighty little birds, which is another reason I didn't want to take the box back in the car just to take him up the street in case he flaps around and whatnot. But, um, oh, here's the pest. No. We'll get the dogs back on the other side of the gate. We'll open up the box and let's, let's hope this guy flies off. <laughs> How good's that? Too quick to even film. But that's the. That just shows. So, when these birds they fly into windows, they get concussions. The best thing to do is a quiet dark box overnight, 24 hours. And I don't even know if I got that on film, but a lot of the time that's what happens. Tunk, gone. So, he landed up in this tree. He came from that bunch of trees over there. The flock's here every day. So. He'll know exactly how to get back home, but that is amazing. So one release down. Next up, we're going to get our big red belly from the can. There he is. We're going to bag him up and get him out. How cute's this little guy? He was attacked by a dog, so you can see he's got a bit of scar tissue there, scar tissue there, and then he's got a big open wound on the other side. <laughs> This big fella that was in the V-can, I took him to the vet straight after we picked him up. The vet said he was good for release. Um, there was no open tissue. It was sort of like, it was like it had already scabbed up and it was all closed up. Small risk of infection, if any. Yeah, he's super active. He's just, he's just ready to go, really. He's in there. The last thing to do is to get this big fella in the box and that'll make number three. So there's our big water dragon. So this guy was also attacked by a dog, just like our little red belly. He had all stitches in his head. So yeah, he's doing fantastic. He's been eating like a champ. You can see where he's healed up. I'm sure he's more than ready to go home. So we'll put him in the box, you reckon, little man? Time to go home. First stop at our second release for the day. We're in North Richmond, just at the Hawkesbury River. This is where this water dragon was from. So it was attacked by a dog. I'd say someone was walking their dog off lead and somehow it caught him and just chomped him up. We've had him in care for about a month and a half. He's had his antibiotics. He's had plenty of rest. Now he's ready to go home. I'm just trying to find a nice sort of sunny spot. Still with a lot of places to hide. Think it down here. I think that spot definitely looks like the go up. We'll get down there. There we go. Can put him in the sun. I'll put him on this log. He's got the water. There's plenty of places to hide. He had a scab which was covering most of his left, right eye. So I just decided to I pulled that off and it actually worked. He's almost got his whole eye, his whole vision. It's got a lot better. This is perfect. The sun's coming out. It's actually pretty toasty. Maybe you'll sit there, maybe you'll bail. One way to find out. Hey big fella. See the dog, the dog just, oh, the dog just chomped him. It got his tail. His... I want him to at least stay in the sun. 
stay in the sun. At least let you get charged up. I don't know how many dragon species regen their tails, but I know it's not a whole lot. You can see this guy's had a regen tail. The dog chomped him here, top of the head. Under his lip he had a stitch. He's just trying to get away from me. <laughs> But we'll leave him. He probably just wants to hide. He hasn't been out for a while. He's been in a safe space. The sun's toasty now, so he'll get charged up and work out where or what he wants to do. Release number two, done and dusted. Now we've got about a 40 minute drive to release our red belly for release number three and that should be us done for the day. Wish me luck. Final stop guys, here's the big fella. That's the corner he was on. So it's pretty obvious he's come out of here. How handy is this? The gate is open. Don't know why, but makes it easier for us. And we can get him a bit further away from people's houses. It's such a thin corridor of plants and whatnot. I'm surprised such big like such a big animal was living in here. The member of public said that she sees so many of them just laying around, laying on the side of the road, which is, I don't know, pretty interesting to be honest. Anyway, it's home time. We'll let him out here. We'll take him up into the sun actually. We'll take him up into the sun and let him out there. It's just a bit further up. to the vet the afternoon I picked him up. The vet said to release him straight away. She thought he was ready to go. She couldn't see any really bad injuries. It's not the greatest, but it was not cut open. It wasn't fleshy. It was sort of scabbed up and I don't know, especially this time of the year, it's best to just get them back out. Let's we'll see if we can get one last look at him. red belly I've had the pleasure of actually having in care. I've gotten ones out of people's houses that are similar size but actually in care they, they always tend to be the smaller ones that get themselves into mischief, attacked by dogs, attacked by cats. This guy's been an absolute pleasure. How's that tongue flicking? <laughs> They seriously have to be one of Australia's most beautiful snakes. At least one of the most beautiful lapids. They are just such a stunning animal with that, that jet black and the vibrant red. And he is gone. I can still hear him moving. But I'll show you guys one more thing. I don't know if I showed you. The underside of the can, how worn down it is. There's no green left on it. He was probably in there for quite a while. Let's pack this up, head back to the car and have a look. And there's the bottom of that can. The green is completely gone. I'm definitely keeping this as a souvenir. What a weirdo. But how good is that? One week on, after this injury, something so bad, so disgusting. If the poor bugger wasn't so big, he wouldn't have gotten stuck, but he's back home. We're all happy. He's home for the winter. He's got another couple of weeks, fill up his belly, get some food before he gets to go into brumation, have a nice big sleep. To see what else today has in store. It's a nice warm day. Wouldn't be surprised if there's another call on the way home. But for now, let's get out of here.